Welcome back to another episode of the Flying Footy Stopover. I'm Adam, the Flying Footy, and we have something a bit different for you today. This video, we are in Shenzhen, China. Now, due to COVID restrictions, we are here in locked in the hotel after going through a pretty, a pretty extensive check through customs and uh, and uh, health checks. We finally made it to our hotel about two and a half hours after landing. But we're here and I'm gonna be here for 24 hours. Luckily, it's a pretty nice hotel. Let's go ahead and take a look around and you can kind of see where what my uh, digs are gonna be for the next 24 hours. As you can see, it's not too bad of a place to spend a day. So not, not only that, they gave us a handy dandy food menu where we can go ahead and order our food depending on what time of the day it is. Everything's covered, so that's a nice little uh, nice little uh, bonus for us, kind of being locked in here and unable to go explore and enjoy the great food that Southeast China has to offer. But they do have some good food, so let's kind of take a look. It is. Uh, currently four in the morning local time. So that gives us our supper menu from 10 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. There's a bunch of things on here. There's some good things like braised beef noodle soup, wok fried rice, wok fried, uh, noodle with beef, yang, uh, wok fried rice with yang zhou style, wok fried rice, Cantonese cured pork, wonton noodle soup, everything that you could want. Even if you're craving for some some more Western dishes. They have a cheese and ham sandwich, French fries, and a tuna fish sandwich. I don't want any of those. So we instead went with two of my favorite things to have in China. We are having Don Don noodles and pan fried dumplings. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those from the room service and we'll come on back when those are here. And after not too long of wait, it's finally here. We have our dinner. So let's go ahead and pull out our containers and see what we got. We've got two good sized containers. Here's one. And two, and of course the chopsticks, very important. So let's go ahead and check out, I believe this one is our pan fried bun, new, uh, pan fried dumplings. So let's crack those open and see what they look like. I love pan fried dumplings. They're some of my favorite food to eat in any Chinese restaurant anytime I get. And uh, quite what I was expecting. They're more like the, if you can see, they're more like the Chinese pancakes you usually get with uh, a bit flatter, not really dumpling-like. I wonder if this is typical. Don't have a whole lot of experience with Southeast Czech, uh, Asian cuisine, so I'm not sure if these are typically what you get here down south. But they are definitely not quite one that I was expecting, so let's kind of take one out. You can kind of see it's a bit flat. Not quite as filling, as stuffing filled, but let's go ahead and take a bite and see what we think. Hmm. Overall, the flavor is really good. It's a bit greasy, a bit fried, kind of a little oily. Not the best quality I've ever had. You can kind of you know, check out the you can see the filling just not all that much filling in there a little bit of the uh, crystal noodles looks like are they the best pan fried dumplings I've ever had not even close but you know what For room service hotel room service okay I'll take it so with that out of the way, let's go to the main event, the Don Don Noodles. This is a much heavier box, a much, feels a bit denser. I'm, I have much higher hopes for this, so let's crack this open and see what this looks like. Oh, and right off the bat, it just looks amazing. You can kind of see, let's get the camera right in there. You can kind of see the, the noodles, the, the spices, the chilies, the beef, the dripping the noodles soaked in chili oil all oh, these I can tell these are going to be a much better than the than the pan fried dumplings so let's go ahead and get that nice and mixed up make sure we get all the nice things in there and we're going to go ahead and take bye 
take a bite. Actually, you know what? Let's get make sure I get a nice, nice little still of that. Yeah, just look at that. That looks delicious. Just piled high with little shredded pork peppers that are gonna just sear my tongue. Green onions. That's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and try that out. See if this is as good as it looks. Now, a good thing. One of the favorite things I love about noodles in Asia is I is our, the slurp. You got to do the slurp. The slurp is almost expected. It's just mm. right off the bat. The flavor is delicious. You can already I can already feel my tongue starting to numb up as the the spice of the noodles kind of takes hold big old chunks of garlic in here to give it nice flavor i love roasted garlic it's some of my favorite thing in the world mm. and this one's no exception it is just top of the notch for a hotel meal this just hits it out of the park you can see wait right down into the noodles you can see the oil and the spicy oil mess all all the way down there the noodles are just soaked in spicy oil oh this is good this is top notch makes up for the dumplings in my opinion so i'm going to go ahead and continue to eat this mm. this is good hits the spot so first, first impressions of dinner, hit and a miss. We got a home run here with the Don Don noodles where the, the pan fried dumplings are very disappointing. Good morning or afternoon. I've just woken up and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon here in Shenzhen. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice day outside. As you can see through my window, let's kind of get a nice little check out a view from my hotel room we're right next to the Shenzhen airport Shenzhen is pretty much borders right on the southeast corner of China down by Hong Kong and those hills right over there are the hills you see whenever you get a nice uh, movie view of Hong Kong those hills rising up in the back of the city it is a pretty nice day there to Google saying the temperature is about 80 degrees but of course I'm here in my air conditioning room and can't get out so we're not going to experience any of this nice sunny day. So instead we've gone and ordered some lunch. So we're going to go ahead and have some lunch. We've ordered something that I'm hoping is going to be pretty delicious today. It's going to be uh, some wings and a chili sauce and some stir fried prawns. That's going to be coming up so we'll get, uh, get that and we'll go ahead and check that out and we'll see what it's like. All right, here it is. We have got our lunch order all here. Picked it up from out just outside the room. So let's go ahead and take it, open it up and take a look at what we got. So once again, we got these two nice takeout containers. I actually really like these takeout containers. These are one of the things I always don't like about takeout. A lot of places is they give you some some takeout containers that just are the, the styrofoam crap. That is very bad doesn't biodegrade this all looks like it's made out of nice recycled paper so that's that's a nice little add-in so let's go ahead and take a look first I believe we have ooh, we have the wings not quite what I was expecting it's kind of get you, get a nice picture in here of the wings so they're a bit on the small side it's a little less saucy, but there are a lot of them in there. Look at the, ooh, these nice little fried peppers. Look, that's going to be really spicy if you try to eat one of those. So see what that, how much of that flavor got mixed in with the wings. Nice, good fry on those wings. They're nice and crispy. Let's go ahead and take a, take a bite. All right. So for the first wing, it is a nice, nice crispy wing. Good, good fry, good cook. Mm. Oh, nice and juicy. Look at that. You can just see the juice inside on that meat. Not dry at all. Good flavor. You can really taste the, the peppers and the peanuts in that in the little rub they used. And that they fried it all in together. Mm. 
It's a good wing. Not the saucy, nice type of wing that you expect to get in a lot of America wing shops, but a nice, like a dry rub that you kind of get, that you can get in some places. Really good. Nice and subtle, nice and juicy. Gotta make sure I clean off all the wing. My wife gives me a lot of trouble when I don't eat all the meat off the wings. That was a good wing. I'm gonna look forward to eating some. Those are good. Let's go have another one. Let's get one of the ones that is buried deep down inside the inside the seasoning. You can oh, this one's gonna be a good one. A little on the small side, but it's covered in in seasoning. Mmm. That's good. Oh, that's good. I'm very happy with those wings. All right, with that, we'll eat those a bit later. Let's move on to our second dish. This is going to be the um, prawns and chili, fried prawns and stir fried in chili oil, I believe. So let's go ahead and open those up. Oh, oh, that smells delicious. You, just as soon as you open it up, you get the whiff of the peppers, the onions, the sticky sauce. Let's kind of get a, a good view of what those look like. So here we go. You can kind, you can see the. Once again, they're using the big pep the big peppers and onions to kind of put some flavor into it. Nice, juicy onions. That's going to be good to eat. I love eating sauteed, just walked fried onions. The prawns themselves, they look nice and bit good size for a for a little shrimpy thing. It looks like a good fry. That's going to be nice, nice saucy, and it's going to be delicious and spicy. Let's go ahead and take a take a bite and see how they are. All right, first shrimp off the Barbie. It is, you can just see it glistening with with juiciness and deliciousness. Hmm. Not quite as spicy as I was hoping with the amount of peppers they used in the to to fry it up, but overall the flavor is good. It has a nice little zing to it. The prawn is is well cooked. It has a nice little that nice little bite you get when you get a prawn, but then just nice and chewy. The fry is the breading is not overly breaded like you sometimes get in a lot of these dishes. It's just a nice light coating. The sauce is not overpowering, but it is adds a nice little degree of flavor. Let's get an onion in there and get it along with one of those prawns. Get a nice little bite in there of the onion in the prawn. Mm. Mm. That is good. That's going to be a good lunch. We're going to go ahead and eat, the, eat lunch and we'll get back to you later for dinner. All right, slight change of plan. As you can see, we are still in Shenzhen. We had a little few mechanical issues on the airplane today, so we have uh, come back to the hotel, and they give me a bit smaller of a room this time. Unfortunately, you can see it in the background that it is all just one room, just a standard room. Um, so we decided it's time to order us some more food. So today, let's see what we got for a late night snack. It's now about three thirty in the morning local time. Perfect time for dinner. All right, dinner has been delivered and it is time to eat today. For dinner, we ordered the braised beef noodle soup and the wok fried rice yang tzu style. So this hopefully is going to be delicious and yummy. So let's take it out. So here's the fried rice. Let's get it, open that up. Oh, that does look delicious. Nice little golden fried rice. Let's get a close up of that. You can see all the little things in there it looks like there's a few pieces of shrimp some ham some vegetables get my vegetables in for the day so that's going to be good hopefully that should be tasty we're gonna get that going then we also have our braised beef noodle soup it comes in two containers 
so let's see the first container this one i think is the actual soup yep there's the soup which would mean this will be the braised beef noodles so you can they gave it in two dishes so we got the soup broth in this one and we got all the fillings in this one we got the braised beef some vegetables and the noodles all there so we're going to go ahead and pour we're going to go ahead and pour that on into the soup so let's just be nice and careful try not to make too much of a mess some there it is even got some broth left over so we're going to go ahead and drink that probably and enjoy that so we're going to let that percolate and we'll come back to that let's go ahead and give our fried rice a try while that soup is settling in What kind of spoon do they give me? Got a spoon. Very important when it comes to eating soup. But we want this for the fried rice. Now, one thing I always remember about fried rice, and it always makes me think about, it, is uh, I watched this anime once a while back ago where the super secret dish was fried rice and they made sure the, the egg was all over the rice all coated in there all nice and golden you can see that now in this how the all the rice is golden yellow a good spread of of the egg in there even gets the little chunks of egg so let's give it a bite it's not bad could use a little, little bit more seasoning but overall it's okay I've had better fried rice in my time. I've had worse, but as hotel fried rice goes, it's not too shabby. All right. Now we've given the soup a little bit of time to cook. So let's kind of give some of that beef a taste. That does look good. So first start with a chunk of beef. Mm. A little tougher than I would have would have liked, and uh, not, quite, not quite as much uh, flavor as I was hoping for. It's okay. Hmm. The broth, on the other hand, is really good. Good flavor on that broth. Nice little good, good beef flavor. Good, uh, good depth. Nice and warm. Really nice. Fills you up. Just makes you feel all nice and good, like you're eating a good, good old home home cooked chicken. Uh, our equivalent of a chicken noodle soup just makes you feel good inside. Mm. Yep, that's gonna be good. So overall, my impressions of lockdown in Shenzhen is it's not bad, it's not great. Obviously, I'd like to be able to get out and explore this wonderful city and see what all it has to offer for food. But that's gonna have to wait until the until everything kind of gets back to normal here. So. With that, we're just going to call that an episode. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you've ever had to stay in a hotel for a long period of time without being able to get out, leave a comment about your experience down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on the notifications for when the next video drops. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.